Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today they just released Vegas Pro 19. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix any kind of crashing you may have, make it run faster, and just overall optimize the performance by changing a few of these settings inside the program. So the first thing you want to do is go up to Options, and then go down to Preferences. In here, it's going to be in the General tab. Switch to the Video tab. And the very upper part right here is the Dynamic RAM Preview Max. They've completely changed this and detached it from the old way from Vegas 18 below. It used to be attached to a bunch of internal things inside the Vegas program that it didn't need to be. And now it's specifically used for exactly what it is, Dynamic RAM Preview Max. They've also took away the ability to set a custom number and gave you a slider that goes from 0% all the way to a maximum of 75% to avoid using all of your RAM and just shutting down or crashing your system or just making it run terribly. I recommend putting this Dynamic RAM Preview Max to either 50% or 75%, depending on how much RAM you have available. On my laptop, I only have 32 gigs available, but on my desktop, I have 64. So either way... 25% remainder of that RAM is still enough to run Windows and other applications. So I'm going to set it to 75%. So go down to the bottom right and hit apply, and then you're going to get a preference change prompt explaining what happens when you allocate RAM to Vegas. Just go ahead and hit OK. And that completes step one. Step two is changing the maximum number of rendering threads. Some processors have less than 32, and some have more than 32 threads. So depending on your processor, you can raise this number from 32 to a maximum of 48. This will not affect your computer negatively if you have less than 48 threads. This will just benefit you a little more if you have more than 32. So go ahead and hit apply, and that completes step two. Step three is enabling GPU acceleration of video processing. Basically, you're saying, hey Vegas, use my graphics card to assist. Sometimes by default it is off, but if you drop down that menu right here, you'll see a couple of options. Usually you'll see your internal graphics options, which are built into the processor. And then if you have a compatible graphics card, you'll see either NVIDIA or AMD options. And then you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want to use. I personally think the NVIDIA ones are better than the built-in ones. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my NVIDIA Quadro card right here. Once you're done with that, go down and hit apply. And that completes step three. The fourth thing to help improve performance is to choose the thumbnails to show in the video events. By default, Vegas 19 has this on all, which shows basically a preview of your video clip all throughout your video track, which looks pretty cool. I like it. But sometimes for weaker computers, every time you have to split and move around and shrink and expand, it has to regenerate a preview of that video in your video timeline every single time, and that could take a toll on some weaker computers. So I personally recommend changing it to none, head, or head tail. None should give you the better performance out of it, but if you do head tail, you'll still get to see what your video clip is because it'll put one little preview at the beginning and one little preview at the end. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit apply, and that completes step four. The fifth thing to really help out performance is if you go to the file IO tab in preferences, down towards the bottom middle, you're going to see two checkboxes. One says Enable Legacy ABC Decoding, and one says Enable Legacy HEVC Decoding. Right under there, you'll also see Hardware Decoder to Use. If you drop down the menu of Hardware Decoder to Use, you're going to see your internal graphics, and you're most likely going to see your graphics card down there. This means it's going to be using graphics cards and graphics to help decode your video to make scrubbing and navigating your timeline much smoother and more efficiently with the least amount of frame loading. So by default, they're using the new way of AVC and HEVC decoding. But sometimes this new way causes some weird glitches. So checking these boxes could give you a lot better performance and stability when it comes to Vegas. Now be warned, if you enable the legacy version of AVC and HEVC decoding, Vegas will not be able to read 10-bit video, amongst a few other rare little things. But the big one is 10-bit video. It's going to show up as a, just a green preview. You're not going to see anything there. Another downside is that it will not use your hardware to decode if you have legacy HEVC checked. Once you're happy with that, hit apply and then OK. Now for the sixth thing. If you hold shift and click options, at the bottom you'll see an internal selection you can choose. Select internal and that's going to load up the internal preferences of Vegas. Inside the search at the bottom, go ahead and type OpenCL forward slash GL, and that's going to filter it out to your OpenCL GL interop. By default, this value is true, and what you want to do is change it to false. 
This is a very old way of them using the OpenCL GL version of your graphics card to help make things work better in Vegas, but by disabling it, there are actually no downsides to this and it actually does help out rendering and weird glitches inside Vegas. Hit apply and you're good to go. The seventh thing. If you search the preference GPU, it's gonna filter it out to GPU acceleration for Windows presentation. By default, this is true, but if you change this to false, that's actually gonna fix a lot of weird little glitches that happen with open windows and effects windows and weird stuff when Windows likes to complicate things. So by setting it to false, you can reduce the amount of time you get weird little glitches in these windows. Hit apply, and then you're done with that one. Now the last thing really doesn't affect performance, but it actually is a really good tip on my end that I use personally. And if you type in show UNQ for the beginning of unquantized, you're gonna see two options up here. Show unquantized event start and event end. Now by default, these are on false, but if you turn these to true at either the beginning or the end of your clip, if it has any kind of frame rate mismatches, you'll be able to know because it'll turn it into a red line at the either beginning or the end of your clip so you can fix before you end up rendering. Because sometimes if you have mismatched frame rates, then you'll get weird little black missing frames when you render and you won't know why. So by enabling these to true, this allows you to quickly and easily spot mismatched frame rate videos. That's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If it helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there. That'll really help me out. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I wanna give a special shout out to all my legendary scrappers at the top, LMC and Hardy Cash. You can find links to their channels and social media in the description below. And thanks to all my super scrappers there in the middle and my awesome scrappers at the bottom.